hello welcome to another Friday artwork video so in this video we're going to be looking at cards from Saviors of Kamigawa these are all cards that I opened from boosters I opened about 10 boosters I think it was from that period I'll include all the relevant links so the links to my original pack openings for these and what I'm going to do here again is just go through bring on camera the cards in the binder obviously I won't feature duplicate copies of anything um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go through all of the cards I've got again single copies so there we go we have Ether Shockwave so you'll notice and I would have, go through, would have gone through this when I did the original pack openings is Bushido. You'll see Bushido in this set. Also got something called Sweep as well. You might see some, I'm not sure here with them. Okay. I see that Arcane is still a thing. So I'm assuming we might see some splice into Arcane. And uh, although I'm going to feature them all, I'll, um, so it's going to be hard for me to skip over it, I will try and point out, or remember to point out, uh, when I get to, um, hang on, what have I just done there? <laughs> Cut myself in a confusion here, the order. Yeah, when I get to um, any of the rares, So we'll try and keep an eye open for any legends here, uh, spirits obviously, that sort of stuff. Sometimes I get lucky as well, we'll see that in a moment if, if I have where, in addition to having a foil version of a card, um, we might see, let me just put that on twice, I'm getting really quite, oh no, that's alright, <laughs> so they have similar names, that's all, oh dear. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to um, see for some here. It's, I've been lucky so far where I've got both the foil and the non-foil versions. I'm able to show both, but we'll have a look at one of those in a moment. And the card in question is going to be... This one. So again with the, the white card you'll notice with the foiling it does make them to me to my eyes quite artifact artifact like in in look. And one of those sweet cards there. So that's the foil one. So let's play around with that a little bit on camera see if we can maybe get it to pop a little bit. Not sure there. Falling can be a little bit hit and miss sometimes. And then we have the regular one. And then when you look at that side by side, you can see, yeah, how much the sort of foiling adds to it, both in terms of the colour and what things tend to pop out as a result of the foiling. So, here we got our first rare
Okay, moving into blue. Got a bounce spell. Spirits here, and of course, we're still seeing these cards. So, this one here is actually at rare, it's sometimes difficult to spot because the set symbols down the bottom for these. Uh, these were legends, and so you know, we've got it this way, and when you flip it. There we go. Right. Oh, I forget that. Um, yeah, freed from the real is in here. That used to be the name of a podcast I listened to, which was all about. Magic the Gathering Online, I think. Well, it's going back a bit. in the mines cage Tide Zubir is next up. Very interesting artwork in this set. Okay. We've got Secret Keeper. That's pretty cool. Another spirit. Now we've also got a shapeshifter spirit here, which is shape stealer.
from the spirit. Trusted advisor. So as always we're getting to black so we're gonna see some pretty crazy artwork. I think it is the card Death Denied. Turn X target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That'd be pretty interesting in foil, I think. Sadly, I don't have it in foil. And we've got another spirit here Death Nail Kami. Okay, let's have a look at Death Mask Nezumi. regular version and then the two side by side okay hand of cruelty so that was a mirrored pair in the set or two hands there was a white one and a black one card with soul shift on it. Another rat samurai with uh, Bushido. Spiky headgear. And you may have noticed the pain's reward we had on camera was a, a rare. Sorcery Arcane Sink into Tiki Numa. I think that is. Okay. It's funny that with this particular set, it's actually the red cards. I tend to recognise better. Um, so I would have drafted this as a block, I think. Not when it came out, but sometime in the 2010s. As a sort of, a, you know, they do these flashback drafts, or used to on Magic the Gathering 9, I'm assuming they still do. 
don't know what times I recognise cards, it's from that. And there's one in particular in a, um, in a moment, which we'll come to, which was a, a common, and I remember seeing multiple copies of this in drafting, and it's uh, this card. Haste, at the end of turn return, it's uh, returning Glitter Fang to its own side, it's 1-1 one, one for 1. Is a rare in red. So again, flip card starts out as that and then flips to that. To the fray. Oh yeah, I see splice into arcane there. I think I mentioned that at the start. I was curious if that was still a thing in this set. Obviously it is. text on that one. Let's get on to the actual artwork, that's why we're here. More Bushido. There's a damage spell there, scaling off of a number of cards in a player's hand. And a spirit there with an ETB effect on it. Okay. Well, this is cool, we've got a couple of nice rare Legendary creatures here in green. So this one, five five legendary creature spirit. Arashi. And then Bounty's Kirkin. those particular um, types of creatures there on the uh, enchantment. like on a large screen. Here's a 
another rare in green coming up. And this swarm. Green snake creatures. Got epic. For the rest of the game, you can't play spells. At the beginning of your each of your upkeeps, copy this spell except for its epic, epic ability. Put a 1 1 green snake creature token into play for each card. Another spirit. See with spirit and arcane synergies going on there. Oh, shift on it. This one. All right. A few more green cards left, and then we get into artifacts and land. probably seen quite a few snake creature cards and stuff that synergizes with snakes so far. That's something that's quite interesting to look at different sets you know see what the uh, creature subtype breakdown might be within the different colors and also color combinations and see how that um, Pans out in a set, I think. And then just a few more cards. Every crane net sake. Or Netsuki, sorry. This one, <laughs> I don't know why, it just makes me smile. <laughs> Maybe it's the size of the blade on there. And then just a couple more to go. I wonder if nowadays, of course, this might be a, a vehicle. And then. My, the only land I've got was actually a rare, and it was this. Mirren, the moaning well. So there we had it. Hopefully you've enjoyed my flip through with the different cards I pulled from the, from the packs of uh, Sayers of Kami, Say, Sayers? Saviors of Kamigawa. Thanks once again for watching.
bye for now and I will catch you in a future episode.